Hi, everybody. My name is Sean Kozika. I am the Air Traffic Organization's Airspace Modernization Manager. And I want to tell you a little bit today about our Airspace Modernization Roadmap. So before we get into some details, let me set the stage from where we're at today. So we have the PBN NAS Navigation Strategy. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this, but this is a very high level vision document that was published in 2016 that lays out a very high level vision for where we would like to see the national airspace system in 2030. And it lays out a set of high level commitments that we're still working towards and we're committed to. Where we want to go next is we want to take that NAS navigation strategy and we want to put an airspace modernization roadmap in place. That roadmap is going to be how we achieve the remaining commitments in the NAS NAV strategy and also seizing upon an opportunity to change the way we do business. Now that Metroplex as a very successful program is coming to an end, this is an opportunity for us to incorporate the very successful elements of Metroplex into our core business processes. So we won't need a program per se going forward to modernize our national airspace system. It'll be part of what we do all the time. In order to get there, there's gonna be two key roles that you're gonna see. The first one is national strategic oversight. And that is headquarters level leadership from the Mission Support Services Strategy Organization, providing high level direction, priorities, messaging, and important integration. Part of that national strategic oversight is having the high level headquarters visibility to bring all the relevant stakeholders back together when there's a need to re-examine, change course, or adjust. That is what that national strategic oversight role consists of. The second key role we're gonna talk about is regional execution. What that means is empowering our regional leadership teams in the service centers and our service areas to prioritize their workload and deploy resources based on local considerations. That means coordinating and communicating across FAA lines of business and also our stakeholders at a regional level to determine how and where to deploy our resources. Doing that work, prioritizing that work while remaining aligned with our national strategy. So as we move forward, you're gonna see three key themes in nearly everything we do. The first key theme you're gonna see is integration. And integration means prioritizing, coordinating, and balancing workload at the national level. Looking at our programs, looking at where we're asking for resources, looking at how we're deploying resources, and making sure that we're all aligned with the national strategy not looking at things from a programmatic perspective, where we're asking for resources, looking at how we're deploying resources and making sure that we're all aligned with the national strategy, not looking at things from a programmatic perspective. This means not looking at things from a simple programmatic perspective, but looking at things from an integrated national NAS wide perspective. Part of integration means looking at our major airports differently looking at them as airport portfolios and coordinating across our FAA lines of business and looking at what the plan is for that airport for the medium and long term and ensuring that all of the work we're doing, including airspace, instrument flight procedures, next gen technologies are all in line with where that airport needs to go. Ensuring that when we go out and we ask for resources from air traffic control facilities, to our stakeholders joining meetings that we're doing as much work as we can, when we can, and that that work is lining up with where the national strategy wants us to go. The next key element is sustainability. Sustainability in this context means not just scheduling a program and going through and completing a program. It means determining what the objective is and building that into our core business. That way, we don't just achieve something once, it allows us to keep our NAS the way we want it. I wanna give you the, an example, the Instrument Flight Procedures Optimization Program. We've seen initiatives in the past where we've taken inventory of our IFPs 
and determine that we had too many or not enough. And we went through and we remedied that. But what we didn't do in the long term is put in sustainable processes to keep that IFP inventory where we want it. In the end, this looks like sustainable processes to continuously review, refresh, and modernize our infrastructure, including airspace, instrument flight procedures, and air traffic procedures. Our third key theme is agility. What agility means is balancing our need to be tactical, be safe, respond to real-time events with our need to keep an eye on the future and make sure that we're never stuck in time, that we're always moving forward, that we are responding to new entrants in our system, changing business models, evolving technology, to do that evolution safely while making sure that we get the job done today. That means processes and structures that allow us to have that flexibility. The instrument flight procedure production process is a great example of that. Having the ability to absorb tactical unforeseen events while continuing to move forward on our national priorities aligned with our national strategy is going to allow us to remain agile and not have to be set back so far and so fast when something changes or something unexpected occurs. But where do we need to go? Let me give you a few examples of what this roadmap will look like. So right now, our modernization activities are conducted very tactically. Outside of the Metroplex program, which as we talked about is coming to a close, instrument flight procedure work is typically done only when something is entered in the IFP gateway. If nothing is entered in the IFP gateway for an airport, we don't have a recurring process to go out and look at those airports and look at what IFPs we have out there and look at what airspace we have out there. That is where we want to go and be much more strategic and plan. Moving from that tactical response to stakeholder requests and moving to a more strategic planned and integrated approach, taking a very methodical recurring tempo for looking at our instrument flight procedure inventory and our airspace infrastructure around our major airports. Looking at our airspace and IFP inventory to ensure that it's not just the right infrastructure for today's operation, but looking ahead to what's coming in the future. If we're gonna go out and look at an airport today, looking down the road to see if TBO technologies, for example, are gonna be coming in two or three years. If there's work we can do now to enable those technologies, that is where that integration piece and that strategic outlook comes in. Enabling those capabilities now, even if they're not gonna be there for another two years. That way, when it's time to implement, we're ready to go. This means deploying our resources in alignment with that national strategy and our national priorities. Looking ahead and being able to plan what resources we're going to need and where we're gonna need them. But remaining agile enough to adjust to tactical events. The third element here is messaging. Typically, our messaging is reactive. We respond to stakeholder inquiries. We respond to congressional inquiries. Along with our workload, planning, and resources, we want to shift our messaging to something that's much more strategic. We want to get out ahead and make sure that our stakeholders and congressional overseers know where we're going, why we're going there, and how we're going to get there and making sure that we keep that connection and that dialogue happening all the time. That's not to say that we won't have to react to messaging as it comes up, because I think that's inevitable. But what it does mean is our stakeholders are gonna know where we're going and that that conversation is more focused on the how than the where, and that's a much better place to be. So thank you for listening. This is a very exciting time. We're really looking forward to changing our outlook, changing the way we do business and working with our stakeholders along the way as we roll out this roadmap and talk about where we want to go and how we want to get there.